Waiters waitresses of Reddit, what's the most awkward first date you had to witness firsthand? Mystery of stuff. I worked as a barista at a coffee shop with a dishwashing sink that brought you face to face with whoever was sitting at the coffee bar across from you. For some reason, so many people chose this spot for their first dates, so I would have to wash dishes and pretend I wasn't literally on the date with them. One time a person I knew was on their first date with someone and chose that cursed seat across for the dish washing sink. Because we knew each other, we chatted a little bit, and then as if a partition raised between us, they began their date, but I still had dishes to do. So fucking uncomfortable. Saw a guy hitting on a girl and buying her drinks for the entire night, then realizing she was a hooker. Just saw one on Valentine's Day. The date seemed to be going very well, actually, not awkward at all. They talked non-stop, no lulls in conversation, they were laughing, carrying on, and just generally having a good time. In fact another server and I were laughing about how obnoxiously loud they were. Then I heard the gentleman say, and obviously you're not still married, right? Please tell me you're not still married, she said well, actually, and then things got very uncomfortable. It must not have been a deal breaker because they stayed at the restaurant another hour until we closed, but they were very quiet for the rest of the night. Hardly spoke to each other at all. A teenage couple sharing an ice cream and holding hands very awkwardly. After they finished the ice cream they kept talking about their very adventurous sexual fantasies. They were around 14 years old. Super awkward to have to interrupt them to ask if they want anything else. I had these two people that were there on a first date. After the appetizers this poor man got the shits and was going back and forth to the bathroom all night. There was only a few other people in the restaurant at the time so it was noticeable and they were chuckling every time he got up. I honestly felt so bad for the guy. I legit saw the guy try to roofie the girl. Like not even trying to be hidden about it. He did it right in front of me. The girl went to the bathroom and I was cleaning the table next to them. I saw him take the powder out and slip it inside the drink. Another thing too, it was a pizza place. Who tries to roofie someone in a pizza place? Edit, yes I called the cops. Jesus I like chaos, but I'm not an animal. The guy's card declines. I didn't want to embarrass him, so I waved him over near the credit card machine, so it would look like he needed to go to the bathroom. He told me to try it again, and I assumed he was going to move money over on his app. He went back to his date. Card declines again. The machine prints a receipt that states the reason for decline. Insufficient funds. I keep trying four more times. I go over to the table and say I'm having an issue with the card, might be our machine, do you have another? I walk away with the new card, and it declines. I wave him over. He gets up angrily, and I'm guessing now the date has caught on. He proceeds to berate me saying that it must be our machines because he knows he has money. He starts making fun of me questioning if I know what I'm doing. He is doing this in front of his date I'm guessing to save face. Gives me another card. Declined. The date pays. Lady comes in to get a table says she's expecting a man and gives us a brief description. He shows up about 10 minutes later and she starts saying she knew it. He looks very surprised and scared. I took a drink order, and when I get back they are gone. The hostess fills me in that in my absence they had a heated but civil exchange, the man was married to the lady's cousin also the lady was married. Apparently they had been texting for a while after meeting via Craigslist personals. I'm assuming the married but looking section. Don't known if they hooked up in the end or just called the whole thing off. Didn't happen to me, but I was working while the bartender got to experience it. Guy and girl came in, super weird chemistry all night. The guy is obviously trying to impress her by being a huge douche, and she looks like she's just pretending to not hate it so the date will end faster. At the end of the night, she says she'll take an Uber home, and he awkwardly leaves without her. She then waits for the bartender to come back over, orders another cocktail, and asks for his phone number. At a restaurant I worked at, 
there was a white guy and a black guy on a first date. They were sitting in a booth and having a good time. White guy gets up to go to the bathroom. When he came back he sat in the wrong booth with a different black guy. Took him a minute to realize it was a different person. The person he was on a date with was not happy at all. They tried to salvage the date, but it didn't work. Not a first date, but we did have a guy come into our steakhouse on a Saturday night at 7 p.m. with NO reservation. He then told us on the spot he was going to propose to his girlfriend. We had to seat them somewhere awful, it was right next to the bathroom, and when he got down on one knee, looking around nervously, absolutely no one noticed. Him and his GF kept waiting for the rest of the restaurant to see them, and go quiet, or even clap for them, but not a single person noticed. She said yes, looked disappointed, and they went back to dinner like nothing happened. They must not have minded too much, because they came back for their one-year anniversary, this time he made a reservation. The guy starts talking about how nice it is in the modern day that you can just date without labels. Woman in suspiciously chipper voice responds that sometimes labels are really helpful in defining the boundaries of the relationship. Man, very upbeat replies that sometimes it's nice just to enjoy your time with someone without having to define anything. It was so hard to listen to. Not a first date, but very awkward, guy comes in with an escort and drops a good amount of money on booze at the bar. Then she leaves a few hours later, and he informs us that his wife is on her way to meet him for dinner and tips us an extra $200 to keep our mouths shut. Keeping it classy. There was guy who would use the place I worked at as his go-to. Every time it's a different girl and every time it ends with angry, he'd butter them up and brag about himself and talks about how he is such a gentleman for treating them to classy place and his gratitude they should let him fuck them. Every time the date walks away, and we have to deal with a horny asshole who tries to get either pity sex or pity dessert from the female staff. At my place we had the opposite, a young in shape really handsome dude from Spain would be in three to four times a week with a new older woman. The women would be buying him everything and basically swooning over him. He'd always walk up to pay with a little smirk while she would be paying for everything. He did this for years. Mystery of Stuff